like and you, well, you can't forget the legendary action scene between Dale and the raccoon in the basement. You know, right in the basement, it was like in a cellar wall. You remember that? You know, the raccoon got herpes or not herpes? <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> We have so, so he's watching it. He's watching, watching it. Dub. King Dub. So he's watching. We're King watching the dub. He's watching King of the Hill on Pornhub. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what's up, guys? Dylan, Mike, and Mickey here today coming at you with an anime tier list. So uh, we were talking, and we noticed that there was a lot of animes that we've all watched. We've gotten together, and, I mean, there's just been a lot of great animes out there. We've seen a lot of content. Obviously, we play a lot of card games based on these different animes. And so we thought, you know, hey, let's just talk about some of the animes that we've seen. Uh, some we like, some we didn't like, and kind of opinions on them. Uh, now, I will say some of them, not all of us have seen. So there are a few animes in here uh, that either I haven't seen, Mike or Mickey. And so those ones, if you notice, like one of us is kind of quiet during that one. That Just not really giving too many opinions on ones we haven't seen. Cause... I haven't seen a lion's share of these, but I do have strong opinions regardless. And I am going to voice them. Well, your opinion should be voiced because your opinion is heard. Yeah. That's yeah. the thing. Your opinion is that. Well, I say matters, but you should voice it like quieter. You should voice it like to yourself. Hmm. You should be a little more silent than the real men in the room. Hmm. So, well, first. Most of you guys who have seen more animes, I've also touched more grass. So. <laughs> yeah. I grow grass. I've also touched more ass. <laughs> Comes with the territory. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, so the first anime we're going to talk about, uh, one that should come to absolutely no surprise of anyone that has ever watched our stuff, uh, it's One Piece. Um, so the categories we got here today is Goat, Muy Bueno, Fell Off, and Bitch Made. Um, I mean, the categories are pretty self-explanatory. Uh, and, uh, are they? I think so. <laughs> I uh, need to explain them. Well, so Goat uh, bueno, is or not, the greatest. It's good. <laughs> yeah, Muy Bueno, good. And some of it very good. Muy Bueno is actually an abbreviation for another name. And uh, Fell Off means it was great, and then it just went to crap. Um, and uh, Bitch Made means it was never good in the first place. It was just not good. Now, it, some of these animes we are talking about as well uh, obviously do have different parts. Like, we're going to be talking about uh, Naruto. Obviously, there's a few parts of that. We're going to be talking about... Um, I'm trying to see what else there was. Like, like Dragon Ball, like um, Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, they're going to have, like, different sections, right? So, we're just going to lump them all in together. Did so, you want to come up with those names and the pictures right there? Yeah, well, you know, oh, yeah. I've had a cold, guys, so that's Dragon my Ball? issue. I've had a cold. Oh. Ah, cold. Pokemon? Oh. All right, so let's start off here, guys. One Piece. Let's rate it. Uh, go. <laughs> Bitch made. It's go. Bitch made. This show, um, I mean, I think uh, the biggest argument against it, right, is how long it is. It's well, over 1,100 episodes now, I think. And the slow pacing filler. Yeah, the but I mean... To be fair, though, if you're talking peaks in anime, I mean, this show's got some of the it's greatest peaks of any anime out and, there. And, like, the only filler I can think that's inherently terrible would be, like, the Foxy Pirates. It, I that's, it, it, even oh, that, though, I it, love it was, the Foxy. It was that's funny. One of the few it was funny, but, like, that's the worst. No, I definitely agree with what you're saying. Like, like obviously, there's some that's, you know, dragged out kind of long, like the Foxy stuff, stuff like that, but it's fun, though, right? Like, it's one of those that you just finished this you know, Thriller Bark arc or something like that, or you just finished Marine Ford, whatever. Barker. Barker. <laughs> and uh, you want some of that kind of comedic thing between because you just watched this grueling arc that just, like, took you, like, crazy, right? Which arc? Uh, like, if you're talking about, like, like Dress Rosa, you're talking about Marine, Marine Ford, Ford, stuff like that, uh, which, personally, to me, Marine Ford, best arc in the show. I My love it. Fell down Marine Ford. Amazing. Biggest issue is we have twenty years. We have one of those. One 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 Marine Ford style. Oh, I don't think crazy so. Crazy all. I, think, I, I, I don't think, think it's I the, think I the end of one though. Wano was level. fantastic. I mean, the reveal of Gear <coughs> Five like hit mainstream for a bit. You know, like people beyond One Piece fans are hearing about it. See, but I actually think uh, to me one of the I actually think one of the longest arcs uh, that I actually really liked it was actually probably my second favorite arc. Um, Dress Rosa. I love the Dress Rosa art. Doffy's a great villain. Uh, he's so good. He's like a villain. Thrill 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 me, the aesthetic, mm. the gothic element to it was really nice. Which is funny, though, because a lot of people actually, say, uh, they, they, they can't stand Thrill Park. It's poorly, yeah. Really? Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of hatred I, I towards Thrill Park. I, I think it's great. Um, Peak moment was when uh, Usopp <coughs> played Chrono with the 50-ton hammer. Yeah. That was a great moment. That was fantastic. Strongest character. Oh, yeah. Movies. 
Well, it, one, of, one of the biggest arguments, right, though, is um, and, uh, an argument I personally kind of agree with, is you almost feel like Gecko Moria kind of uh, built up for nothing. Like, like he really, to me, like, obviously he has this crazy power and stuff, but he never really felt, like, like Dovey, you felt threatening. You felt like, oh, shit, this dude is powerful. I just never felt that way with Gecko. I mean, I think that's how, how often he was bitched afterwards, too. True. Yeah. He got, I mean, that was... If if there there is, he's the closest thing to just an actual cuck I've ever oh, seen yeah. in any anime. Oh, I, I mean, look at this. Well, so, like, but that's kind of the point, though, is because, so in One Piece, you'll notice this with, with all their characters, is people who chase their dreams in One Piece tend to look, like, physically crazy. They either have, like, a perfect build or, like, super ripped, and people who don't and, like, gave up tend to look ugly. That's, like, Alveda. That's, like, Big Mom. Well, not really Big Mom, but, um, or Gecko. Uh, that's kind of like you'll you'll notice that throughout the themes, the more characters you find who like gave them their dreams tend to look uglier. Gecko, uh, for those who aren't aware, Gecko got his ass fucking rocked, uh, and before like we could even see it happen. Like this is like way yeah. way back in the past, and his crew split apart. So when you get to Thriller Bark, this is already like a beaten man. Yeah. Half his crew is gone. That's why most of them are dead. Mm. Like this is literally like the definition of someone who gave up. He is literally a cuck. No, but I mean, even without that, though, I mean, I think we all agree. Marine Ford, Impel Down Marine Ford arc was so fantastic mm-hmm. to me personally. The most brutally undervalued character in any anime ever, Magellan. Yeah, Magellan is so he, crazy strong. Crazy strong. He's destroying he Blackbeard. Him? He's destroying Blackbeard. Yeah, and then they just kind of he's just like I'm just I'm done. I don't want to fight you anymore. I'm out of here. He leaves. Blah blah. Well, you assume probably assumed he was gonna die. Yeah. <clears throat> so. But no, uh, yeah, I mean, I think it's this is, to us, and I know everyone in the comments, oh, this is bias. Yeah, it is. But we like it. We love I, it. I, I disagree with the, the use of bias. I, I do. I, I mean, the I, bias is an unfair prejudice. If you watch a show in its entirety and like it and you praise it, that's not bias. No, but I mean... It, bias it, is if you don't watch a show and you don't want to give it the time, but you also say it's, like, bad or good. Well, yeah. to be fair, I mean, uh, this was a comment we made in our last uh, tier list video where we talked about card games. Uh, well, you started that way of calling me bias. What you were. Uh, but we're, not. we're not talking about that. We're not talking about that right now. <laughs> we're not discussing. There's going to be more experience than you get than you. All right, we're not talking about that right now. But I'm biased. Anyways, uh, so, but this was something, though, right? A lot of people would talk about, um, like, oh, you guys are biased and stuff like that. We literally made a channel because of One Piece. Like, our YouTube started because of how much we love the game, and we saw that there, you know, there was some content, but not a lot of crazy content. So we wanted to make more content. Mm-hmm. <coughs> so... And we're at like 400 plus subs, so we're kind of the Mr. Beast of the show. Yeah, we're pretty much. Well, I don't know if I'll be like Mr. Beast right now, but uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, yes. not lately. So we're like, well, you know, we're stand, like pre-transition to bad PR. I haven't read everything about it, but not good. I'll stand by him because when he, when he's, when people come back on that, I'll be like, hey man, remember when I was talking for you? <laughs> hey Mr. Can Beast, I, can I get a million dollars? Can I get a million dollars, please. <laughs> uh, all right, guys. So next one up, uh, Promise Neverland. <sighs> this is like the definition of fell off. Fell off. This fell off hard. It stuck the landing so well. Season one and then was broke his ankle and smacked its forehead in the wall. Season one was so perfect. It I was. Mean, it was the. It, I mean, there were so many ways that they could have went about it, and to have that play out the way it did in season two was just awful. We went from. I mean, no one saw it coming. We, yeah, we, we went from like murder mystery to revolutionary. Mm-hmm. Like it just isn't a good. It was. It wasn't a good blend. I didn't like where they went with it. Uh, a lot of people didn't either. <laughs> It was it was rough. Season one, though, I mean, if you just take it as a standalone show, I mean, great. Yeah, imaginative, creative, unique. It was it was a fun adventure. Wish there, they went a million different ways with it. There really wasn't much like it at the time. I no. mean, it, especially because there was a lot. I mean, what? I'm trying to think of what was like popular out then. AOT mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and some other mainstream stuff like along those lines. It was a really fresh breath of air from like shonen. Because I mean, at the time, I wasn't. There wasn't very many like non-combatant animes floating around like new ones yeah and that was a really good fresh rhythm air for me and then season two dropped and I cried um yeah so I mean uh, and up next uh Code Gay Ass so <laughs> sorry, could, sorry could you repeat that Code Gay Ass it's, uh, it's the pronunciation yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's the French you don't have to be it's French yeah, yeah, yeah. it's French yeah no, uh, guys so yeah so Code Gay Ass so obviously uh this is one is it Gay Ass Gay Ass is it yeah Are you um, sure? yes <laughs> okay uh, it's French. Of course. It is. This was hard, right? Because this was such a good show. Uh, Lelouch was one of the best characters in anime. 
Like this dude was so smart. He was just he could do, he could like he was playing the definition of I play chess, you're playing checkers. Like that was him. He's also kind of an idiot though. But series two, or season two fell off for me. Like there was the whole scene where um, he actually made a uh, what was her name? Fucking. Uh, the princess. Oh, Lindsay. He actually... Was it Lindsay? Okay, no. you ignore it. <laughs> <I'm ignoring laughs> uh, he actually made the princess, like, murder all of the fucking... Yeah. Like, by mistake. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, he was kind of an idiot at times. He was, but I mean... But it was always something, though, where... In the end, it always worked out for him, though, right? Like, like everything I always know, worked. I don't know if I mean, worked out for him. <laughs> but <laughs> during the show, though, like, he was... He was literally, like, people were talking about how crazy smart he was. How he was just such a battle genius. Mm-hmm. Like when it came to wars and stuff like that, I mean, he was he was not losing battles. No, and uh, so I mean, great show. Um, <clears throat> like I said, though, I didn't like this. I didn't like the the second season. I guess you would call it technically, but I just didn't like the way it kept going and stuff. I loved the beginning. I loved the way it started, and it just lost me. I I personally loved it. I think it had a really good bow tie finish to it. Yeah, I mean, we can put it in good because I mean, it is a good one. I think Moy Bueno's uh, if, if not goat Moy Bueno, because even if you. <clears throat> I'll put it like, really even if you counter out the fact that like it had its lows, it's such an iconic one and inspired. I guarantee you several animes on this list alone. Like everyone has heard of Code Geass at least once. Well, and and I guess speaking of that though, if we're talking iconic, King of the Hill, King of the King Hill. of the Hill. Hill. Thank you, the real show. I mean, the, well, probably one of the best protagonists in all of anime with Hank Hill. Yeah. yeah. Uh, his crew. The best that, antagonist with uh, Dale. Yeah. Well, mm. he, he can't be an antagonist because they all. He, I mean, he, more he, cotton. He's got that. Cotton. He's got that special attack that the pockets <clears throat> have. He's that like kind of like antihero. Of, yeah. Of the show. I, I think uh, the name. Honestly, he, he's just the crew. We have we have. Dale, oh yeah. We have Bill. <coughs> the neighbor would be the, the, the Asian guy. Or the, Con? The, the, Con. Con. Con is the antagonist. That's the antagonist right there. Mm-hmm. He hates it. I mean, tons of arcs. Uh, we had Bobby oh, yeah. uh, with the breakup with that girl. They, yeah. they see each other at the steakhouse. He and eats that massive steak. I mean, then he becomes like. Do you a, think he's a about to stop? Aficionado too, right? Yeah, exactly. Then, then he he's be- about to stop. Unbutton. Um, Let's go to town, and he finishes it. I mean, impressive. His, her parents alone was just like, I know, like, whoa. Oh my Stand god! You, my you, captain, you, you, my you captain. left him. You left him. Mm. Like, and you, well, you can't forget the. Legendary action scene between Dale and the raccoon in the basement. You know, right in the basement, it was like in a cellar wall. You remember that? You know, the raccoon got herpes or not herpes. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay. We have. So, so he's watching it. He's <laughs> watching a different Japanese film. So he's watching. We're watching the dub. He's watching King of the Hill on Pornhub. <laughs> <laughs> raccoon. Is that in the manga? Because maybe it didn't translate from the anime. I don't think oh. it translates very well. Visual novel. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, so you went, read, read some fan fiction. Some <laughs> so, so Dale's, so Dale's in this. Dale's fighting a raccoon, raccoon with herpes. <laughs> with herpes. Or did he give it to him? No, no, no. The, her, the raccoon had. Oh, a, gave it to him. Gave it to him, yeah. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, honestly, just really quality anime. Uh, yeah. Character growth, bar none. Fantastic. It's, uh, we have Bobby, Peggy coming in there. Oh, yeah. Luann, easily one of the. Top character growth in all anime history. Kind of oh yeah, yeah. Starts off as a friggin' moron, and then ends up actually being smart and doing well for herself. Mm. Fantastic. Sort of I think it, too. it really kind of like blazed the trail for a lot of anime's posts. Like Dragon Ball. Not Dragon Ball. That came out earlier, but I mean, uh, uh, what do we have? Naruto. Yeah. Uh, Ble- not Naruto. Ble- Ble- after that, Full Metal mm-hmm. would not have happened if not for King of the Hill. That's not obvious. A yeah. lot of people owe a debt of gratitude to Mike Judge. And the team that worked on the writing, well, writing it, staff, production. And if you're going to talk about fighting animes, I mean, Bobby Hill, that's my purse. I don't know you. Let go of my purse. I mean, <laughs> come on. Are we saying right now, can you tell me with 100% conviction that the Kamehame did not come out because let go of my purse, I don't know you. I think the same spirit of like that inner Yeah. Girl, when he was like holding it, waiting for the spirit bomb, that's mm-hmm. pretty much the same. Mm-hmm. So you, you see a similar buildup in the body of just like, you know. So yeah, so yeah, I, I think this is something that we obviously um, we don't even need to discuss. I mean, it's go. I, I think we yeah. have to put a go. So oh, easy. Um, up next, this one's actually a controversial one here. 
Pokemon. Bitch made. Pokemon Garbage. is not so okay. I think for what it is, because he's equating it to like intelligent, well-written anime. <coughs> fart Pokemon's cool. not trying to do that though. It's, yep. it's not. It isn't that because it's not trying to be. It is a children's show. Yes. And for what it is. It's top tier. They're marketing alone, and I said this about their TCG. I'll say it if we ever do like a Game Boy game or whatever tier, or just even like a video game tier. tier yeah. They are just, they market it so well. What they've done for their IP is how I wish every game that I play did for their name. Yeah, but it's a show, like, like how, regardless of how well a show's marketed, it doesn't affect the quality but, of the show. But here's the thing, though, right? Is it, but it, do we think of it as a children's, children's show, though? And not as a as an intelligent, well written, like witty crime uh, drama noir. It could be both. But, but here's the thing, though, is how many. How many people out there right now in their 20s and 30s are talking online? You see them constantly. Oh, man, I'm going back rewatching Pokemon right now. The original. I love the original season. I love watching Ash. Season, I love, season one was great. A lot of this stuff. I, I So I will agree to a point of Pokemon where Pokemon gets, you know, a little much when you've got 40 different cutoffs of it. I agree to that point. But at the same time, though, like 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 I've got kids, stuff like that. My kid, his first his first anime is going to be Pokemon. He, I've already got him like you know the starter three Pokemon like stuffed animals up on his wall and stuff. Like he's gonna have like it. That's just how it's gonna be. Like he's gonna be watching Pokemon stuff like that. Like that'll be the type of stuff he grows up on. The reach it has, the impact it's had on pop culture. Mm -hmm. I, it's not well written for me as an adult. And yes, I do wish the Pokemon company would make. A diversified content or license it out for stuff for another company to make. Oh yeah, I'll never do that. They're, it, they would, they're not likely to do that. But I, that, so, I yeah, it was just like it's that's something I wish would happen. So yeah, similar yeah. Like, what you'd like where it's content that we can enjoy as we grow, but we do remember enjoying the hell of it as children, and we try to pass that along. Oh, yeah, and there's just not another children's show that has that kind of reach. So I think comparing it to like a Death Note, it's not going to compare like it's apples to oranges yeah, for yeah. us as like twenty something, thirty something year olds. But as a kid, as a children's show, they were just at the top. Would, they took what they did and they ran with it to the very top, and no one comes close to them. Which, to be fair, though, uh, I mean, if, if we are talking about, you know, and if, if you look at like Pokemon, like we're talking about like dark and blah blah, Pokemon, if you really boil it down, Pokemon's a pretty dark anime. If you, yeah. if, if you, you think really, about it, if you think about animal it, fighting, like, like drifting. <coughs> You got characters like, fighting each other till they die, pretty much, and then for money, and then yeah, in the game, you're like, oh, I blacked out. Like, did he knock me out and steal my money? Because I, yeah. I, I woke up, I woke up dazed at a hospital without and, my, and my, and lost my money. Missing money. <laughs> I'm missing money. My so, Pokemon, and then like, I had to get healed by the nursing staff. There's like the index too, where it's like drift balloons or like balloons that dangle around kids, and if they grab them, they float away and steal the kid. <laughs> and the Pokedex, we have to <laughs> mandatory like coming around like census and like taking all. Oh, you better make sure we got you in the system. Yeah, <laughs> like put you down. Tag him, tag him. <laughs> so you're number four hundred sixty. But I, I think though, box. <laughs> if we're talking about just great animes at all, though, I mean, yeah, Pokemon's right up there. I will say, I, I think it's a go. I will say, <coughs> go uh, the first one, phenomenal. You know, the original Pokemon. Yep. Pokemon Red. I wish they made more of it. Pokemon Red was crushing. I loved it, and then they never did, and it became like mindless children dog well, feed, and I hated it. Mm -hmm. The only part of Pokemon I did not like in this, and and especially as it kept going, um, I started to hate Team Rocket. Like not for the reason like oh you should hate them like they're the bad guys. I just got tired of them. Like yeah. I'm like okay I'm sick of seeing them so much because it's like you know they're not going to do it. You know they're not going to get what they want. Blah blah. blah. It just oh it just like I wish they would have been taken seriously. Don't, yeah, like, like they had a natural moment of victory because you allow your villains to win battles. Even yeah, if you ultimately win the war. Yeah, because like their gimmick just ends up falling off, right? Because it, it just really, feels like okay, I'm bored now. Yeah, they they never really get close to succeeding. Yeah. So, At least from what I see, I haven't seen every episode of Pokemon, but I, I do remember a lot of the early stuff, and they would just come in, get clapped by Ash, and yeah, I remember being annoyed because I wanted to see the Pokemon fights, and instead I'm watching them like Team Rocket blasting off again and making weird catchphrases. Mm. No, but yeah, no, I I think go. I agree. Go. I, I agree. Go. go. It's I guess. I I'll we we put it in go if it's it's too. Well, where it's would you two, put it? Two to one. But yeah, I I respect the fact that like it's too popular and too much of like a mainstream item for it to be anywhere else. I just have like, to everyone say, knows Pokemon. Mm -hmm. I do just have to give credit where it's due with that too. Is just I mean. With what they've done, with the reach they have, I, I can't put them anything below that. Because every game tr strives to do what Pokemon's done yeah. and have the kind of market that they have, mm -hmm. but very few get there. Yeah. Um, yeah, so up next, <laughs> Cowboy Bebop. Uh, if we want to talk about a bitch made, 
Uh, I don't like Bebop. I've never have liked it. I've watched it. Just don't like it. Don't like the way it feels. Just don't like the way it looks. Just don't. I don't. Also doesn't like, like delicious butter, butter chicken from you know Indian food. He doesn't like uh, spices, flavor, flavor in general. Doesn't like money. Doesn't like money. He kicks puppies for fun. I was gonna say does not like the sound of children's laughter or dogs makes me like, furious. Flying around, jumping and having fun. Oh yeah, I can't say. Kick uh, easy. During Christmas, I once saw him bring this like really large red bag and start stringing people's lights off their house and put them into it. Well, listen, at some point, at some point I'm tired of it. Got Grinch vibes, bro. Yeah, Grinch. Got Grinch vibes. You eat Dude, onions. The, yeah, I, I hate Bebop. Cowboy Bebop so good is the attention to detail on character growth and, and just really telling their stories because when you watch it, you really just feel like you're you're getting to know almost every facet of this person's personality. <coughs> so it, and almost to the detriment of where some people dislike it where it's not as plot driven as other shows. This show just goes super hard into the characters, getting to know them, and it really feels like you're in the room with them when they're talking and having conversations. Almost similar to if you've seen Reservoir Dogs, where they just sit down and have that tipping scene. It just feels like you're in a, at a table talking with these people. It's how yeah. casual it is. It's just a, it's just a well written show, great character development, and and a great plot. I mean, the ending to that show, the, the build up, the tension, fantastic. That last fight with with Vicious, I mean, quality. I mean, it's also just aesthetically pleasing. Like the whole like cowboys in space, I love the trope. It's a good trope. You're taking like the whole like you know random wander cowboy style, and rather than putting them in a barren desert, you put them in space on a spaceship. Mm-hmm. And, like those two ideas already mesh well, so it was a very good like direction for it. You know what I mean? Yeah, huge fan of this. It's a go for me. I love animes that are are this well written and don't necessarily rely on crazy high amounts of action. Like it, the dialogue is just as important, if not more important, of the precedence set by the writers. So, I love this. This this in like Death Note style. I mean, I, I love this kind of stuff. It's a go for me. So here's the thing, though, right? Is one I don't think it definitely can't be go. The the only, the big reason too, well, one of them is is we have a lot of other animes up here, and there's several of them that are definitely going to be go made. I just don't think Bebop is up there. And I think Bebop... I'll, I'll put Bebop at very good. I, I will give Bebop credit on one major faction, and that is that they took a super huge risk with their finale, with the way the show ended and everything. They took a big risk with it. And so... And, you know, I, I don't really want to give out too many spoilers about it, stuff like that, but... Um, <coughs> Let me just say, live action quality, too. I don't care what anyone says about that. All the people that cried about it and got the show canceled. God, I hate those people. They're Like, like you were talking... We were talking about this a bit before... We started the video, and there was that take you made where some people are like crazy super fans. But that's for every show. Yeah. Where you yeah. can just have somebody obnoxiously defending them and saying it's the greatest thing of all time. It's a Star Wars. Look, fans. I've actually read every single thing and looked at. I talked to the director numerous times about it. His mm. hair wasn't quite right. It actually leans to the left. Or the, the right. people that want it to be exactly the same. Like, this isn't the literal retelling of this is a show but live action like let them take some liberties let it be a different mm-hmm. show so I don't feel like I'm, I'm watching a rerun well it is the same thing right with the uh, the One Piece remake uh, people were complaining oh well the <coughs> the stretching and stuff looked fake do you think his arm really fucking stretches <laughs> do you think you're gonna find someone in the world that oh yeah my arm all yeah, the people like, that have stretchy people. arms were left behind because they, they didn't do this like you know well they're, they're freaks here. yeah well, it's it also is. like it doesn't even make sense. It's no like, representation. Yeah. The stretching feels fake, or it feels fake. Like you're watching a literal drawn image versus a CGI. The mm-hmm. CGI is always going to look more realistic than the literally drawn image. Of course, it's going to look fake. It was always fake. Wow. Well, and the big thing Crazy. is, I, I still say One Piece has the best remake, like live action remake of any show. For any anime, I, I think One Piece. Th- I there, that Cowboy first Bebop. season was so good. Cowboy Bebop. I, I haven't seen Cowboy Bebop, so I can't say much Maybe about Kenshin that one. Avatar. Well, obviously Avatar. Well, Dragon Ball. I guess now we're talking Dragon about Dragon Ball Evolution. Oh, I didn't think about I mean, that. Well, that's like top. Here, oh right? my god! That, why is that not up here? <laughs> that's another video, man. Oh, that's another video. Just talk about how great that one was. I'm surprised we didn't do Seinfeld. Well, no, Seinfeld's like one of those off meta, <laughs> off meta, off meta <laughs> animes. <laughs> it's not your traditional anime where it's animated. Right? <laughs> what about chicken? So chicken. Uh, but no, I I think Boy Boy. No, I just I think there's other animes up here that are going to come up and go, and I don't that. want so I hate many. You. I kind of agree I with Boy Boy. No, oh, I hate both of you. Like, uh, listen, I love Cowboy Bebop as much as the next person. He's a Cowboy Bebop. Cowboy Bebop. 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 There are some points in the show where I'm kind of just snoozing. Dude, like, the one where they uh, there's like an alien creature going around and like just like picking them off, and they're like. Just 
getting attacked by this thing, and they find out it's because they left the fridge door open. Uh, the, the creepy fucker from uh, that's like uh, this clown looking motherfucker. Mm-hmm. I mean, they, they have some of the best episodes. I, I'm not. I'm not denying that. I'm just saying there's they also <coughs> just have some Great. episodes that are like Great. okay. I mean, like I never the found ones that a, you might think of are okay are also usually the more plot driven ones that go we'll, towards the ending and aren't good. We'll like, put it up there. Long. We'll put it up there at very good. Uh, I'm sorry, muy bueno. We'll, we'll put it up there as muy bueno. Top, top muy bueno. You both are dead wrong. Muy bueno. Donde esta baño? Bebetico, or was it Bebetico? Bibliotico. Bibliotico. Tico. Tico. Alright, guys, next one up. Oh, Just. God. Death Note. I this is another one I don't like, Death Note. I want to put it muy bueno as well. I think it's muy bueno. I think it's muy bueno. Death Note is just, it's well written. Uh, you have characters that you, you like and hate at the same time and I think that adds it, it's, it's hard to write it's it's hard to write that, that dichotomy of like I like this person but also fuck them like to be able to and then there's different times where I'm like mostly fuck them but I, 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 I respect some of their decisions I can at least understand where they're coming from it's hard to write characters like that and they did a really good job I would put it in GOAT but it should have stopped after L died mm. and they, then they started eating, spoiling like <laughs> dude this show has been out for I, so I, I, long. I, I, I'm, I'm like, kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> get hit by a bus. Uh, uh, but um, like, they introduced like noir, and all that, and I'm like, ah, oh, dude, this is just dragging on too long. I yeah, mean, I don't dude. think it's bebop level for me, but I do like, I I, I really enjoyed it, uh, yeah. and it's another live action that I, I liked. I watched. Oh, I forgot I got a live action. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Hmm. There was actually people that said it was pretty good. That like actually, like from what I heard, actually got pretty good reviews. Well, I actually know people who said that dog shit tastes really good too. They also got pretty good reviews. Well, they, they were also big fans of Cowboy Bebop. So. Oh, were they? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Next one up. Uh, put a bueno, so I figured. <laughs> what's your What's your real opinion though? on what Death Note? Bebop. Are, are, are we acknowledging? Bebop. I, I said I said I would put it bueno. Yeah. yeah we'll also call I'll it dog f- shit the next line. So I want to make sure. Like, like, come correct. I'll say what come, I want. Come I'll correct. say what I want. Dog shit. Dog shit. Dog shit. Listen. Attack on Titan. This show. Um, so I'm not, I had a lot of hesitation going into it just because. Um, I just it, the art style and stuff wasn't always my favorite type of art style, but I was like, you know what? Yeah, I was like, I'll try it. Um, fantastic show until that last damn season. That season, <laughs> I so I kid you not when I when when it skipped over to the the last season, and I started watching it, I had to actually stop, go back and look to make sure I didn't miss a bunch of episodes because I was like, why is everything different suddenly? Why are they suddenly like talking about like these like Marley and Zelda were suddenly talking about like all this these random people are on the screen in the middle of a battle and I'm like who are any of these people and it was when uh, Gabby goes and throws the uh, or I'm sorry yeah it was Gabby she throws the bomb thing and they're with Peak and Rainer and stuff like that but we have no idea who any of these characters are because they never said a word about it mm-hmm. but suddenly they're with all these guys and everyone on the screen is somebody you have no idea who any of them are. I haven't seen this show. I'm just show. like, what? I haven't seen the I, last I season, but I have to say, that sounds like old man, tired of change, scared of change. No, no, no. no, no <laughs> who are these people? Because eventually they explain it. I don't it. know you. They eventually explain it, but it was just the way it cuts from, you have this great storyline going. Hmm. Um, they the, started the with tapioca pudding oh, when you asked for yeah. vanilla. See, this he's just <laughs> upset about my opinions on Bebop. Well, That's all this is. Well, but, but it wasn't a random cut, though. I mean, they've been building to it. They've been sprinkling the history of everything throughout time. <coughs> like, we already know that there's some, like, weird, like, timeline shenanigans happening all the way into, like, season two. Yeah, but they don't... When we, that's when we learn about the founding Titan. Yeah, but to suddenly just go from, hey, we got this, to suddenly change up the entire thing. They don't, like, really talk. So, suddenly, Aaron is just, oh, hey, look, Aaron's... You know, a lot older now. He's suddenly bad. So He's suddenly, what they are. suddenly, dude. We watched like the we watched the slow descent into madness of Aaron for the first like. Aaron all was of the show really. Yeah, but Aaron. The thing was though is you like like at least the way I felt when I was watching Aaron. Like Aaron, you like you felt that little slow descent like that, but you still liked him. Like you still cared about him. Like like when I was watching that, I was like, okay, I'm actually a big fan of Aaron. I think he's still going great like that. And then suddenly he's this old man that was cat like behind the enemy lines or whatever like capture and all that shit and you're like wait what suddenly he's over here but he was just a child over here yeah well, and it's it, it was I mean, it was I that kinda... whole time skip thing i was just like okay and they they explain it a little bit later on but just the whole time skip and then i'm sorry dude that founding titan looked like just ass of oh, the whole ribs and all that the whole like ribs super long neck 
what the fuck was that thing? <laughs> like, that <laughs> thing did not look scary at all. That thing, he could suddenly make every Titan out there ever. Suddenly he could just create every Titan, like, and then, and then out of nowhere the Titans turn on each other because Zeke makes them, which they never explain why Zeke makes them. They just say, oh, the Titans are turning. I guess I don't need to watch that last season. <laughs> I wouldn't. I would just watch it until the final season and stop and be like, this was a good show. <laughs> No, I just, I, I just I think the end was though. so convoluted. It was just so bad because they never explained why Zeke turns them. I, I, I guess I, I get what you mean where it's like, especially towards the ending half there, it got really spindly. Like, they were drawing on strands for sure. Oh, yeah. The fact that they suddenly had every, like, just random Titans in there. Oh, this was this Titan. This was this Titan. What? And then that one Titan that, oh, hey, guys, I forgot. I can fly because <laughs> I can suddenly do that. I saw a memory. But it's never been mentioned in the entire show ever. That does feel kind of half assy. Like, yeah, no, I just this to me, this is the epitome of fell off mm. because it was a god. It was it was a goat level tier until that. I, I don't know if it's that bad though. Like, I don't know if the ending is so bad that it eradicates how good. And they're not. And they're not making another one. Make huh? Where would you put it? I throw it more. But here's the thing, though. They also said that they were gonna, uh, they were talking about trying to do a four, another season or whatever. You know, mm-hmm. the creator literally came out and said, "We're not doing another season because of how much backlash he had on the last season and how much people hated it and how mad people were about the uh, the the show itself." He's like, "Yeah, I'm not doing it again." The manga people like the manga; they can stick with the manga. Like the manga was really received well, and that I I, I honestly haven't so read it. I don't know. The creator was just kind of like, Meh. <laughs> I mean, no, the creator was like, "Oh, all these people are like." complaining because of how yeah, I did this. Like no, 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 no. It's not just complaining. They get physically fucking harassed. Oh, yeah. That's why... That's Physically why, harassed, like, in person? Or yeah, like, like, in Twitter? person. Yeah. No, like, pe- they get sent, like, death threats. Like, people well, were again, so... Though, like, on, are we talking, like, X? Like, we're, no, like, we're talking, like, a brick through your window. Like, like, like people were legitimately just mad because it, the... Like, I remember a couple of my buddies online and stuff, when the last season came out, I remember seeing these posts something on Facebook and stuff, like, what the hell was that last season? Like, people were... Pissed. I get it if it's if it's truly bad. You also, it was. You just killed like a years of a person's life, and to rush it, I'd rather just not do it. Like similar to Game of Thrones, we're gonna reference this in every video. The last season never should have been made. They should have said, "Ah, we're bored with it," and R. R. Martin's bored of it, so I, we're done with it. I won the bet, so I'm happy with it. You didn't really win, though. I did. You, you said uh, the, the bet was who's gonna. Guys, so so just just in case we you had a bet, <laughs> and it was on Game of Thrones, and who was gonna be on the Iron Throne. I said no one, which means I'm the fucking winner because the Iron Throne was destroyed. He counted it as he was the king, he was the president, really, because they started a democracy now, and now it's America, and they, they, they <laughs> wave the flag around at the end. So I said Off it was gonna be Bran. Our buddy Gaskin said it was gonna be the queen, which I was a, that was a loser pick, anyways. Yeah, and, and the question she was, was who, never not who's gonna be king. It was who's gonna be sitting on the Iron Throne. Was the question. It, it was it was Brad, and I said I said it no one because it'll be destroyed, and I was fucking absolutely fucking. I won the bet because Brad won. So at the end of the day, Brad wins. He failed. He uh, failed. And you're not king when you're just like elected like an official. <laughs> what was even was the bet? What was the who was going to be on the Iron Throne? I said no one because it'd be destroyed. It, it, was like, I was like, it was like twenty bucks or something. I don't remember what. Yeah. Oh. Sure both of you get ten. Yeah, I, I never did. <laughs> I actually PayPal you, and you never. Split that evenly because the more I thought about it, I'm like, I, I get that. I still remember that. Brand was the king. I still remember that. It's on paper. I'll take a look. I'll take a look. I'll take the transaction. And now, Esley, if I pull up that transaction, I just want that back. <laughs> so you owe me 20 bucks. Refund. <laughs> you owe me 20 bucks. <laughs> All right, guys. It's $100 uh, now. It's $100. But no, so let's. Uh, so yeah, so going back though, yeah, that's why I say it, it was that's a video. It was one that fell off from the thrones. I can. I can like agree with the fall off, but it was just too good. Let me let me be the tiebreaker. What was your opinion on last season of Thrones again? All right, guys, so he's going to have a spiteful. <laughs> That's all it, That's all it, Could oh, you tell by my question? Did you disagree with me? I kind of teed it Check. up for you. I kind of teed it up for you. What was your opinion on that again? On the last season? Yeah, good event. The last season was... The season was bad. The ending was good. Because I won. The ending? The ending was good. I respect I won. your opinion. My uh, This will not be based on... <laughs> you know you're, you're going to do. You're going to say, <laughs> muy bueno. I know what you're going to do. I think it's muy bueno. I think it's really You've never it. seen it. I, I I've seen clips. <coughs> he was just saying though he agrees it was fell off. I I agree. No, I but I, agree. Really I agree that like the ending fell off from the rest of it, but the rest of it was so good that it's criminal whole. to put it it fell off and not muy bueno. Like I, it literally was like the top show for Mickey, what almost I, three years. I guess years? I should ask you. Last season of Game of Thrones. Oh are you my god. It? 
Oh, I don't know. I'm, not, I'm never going to watch Game of Thrones. You're good on that one. Okay. You can live your own life. All right, guys. So uh, we'll put it up in uh, Muy Bueno. It doesn't deserve it. It shouldn't be there. But unfortunately, we have someone that's super biased right now. Oh, yeah. So, you're biased. Not you, not you, you, you won him. a bet. It's him. You were it's biased. Him. You won a bet so you like an ending, and you didn't win a bet. I said it would be destroyed. I won the bet. I won the I said bet. It would be I won the bet. I won the bet. You, you failed. <laughs> All right. You failed Up oh, next, the greatest um, game ever Yu Gi Oh! Gaskins and I donated that money he won strictly because. Because we, they, we they admitted it. They admitted it. It's we just like. They admitted it. I said. They admitted They knew I won. We got together. We're like, he didn't really win that bet. You won, really. But can we just give it to him, please? His family reached out and said, Dylan's going to a really <laughs> Sarah McLaughlin came out. I will remember you. There's my right. pictures. I was sold. All right, guys. So Saturday night bingo, and he lost. He was really upset about it. Can you give him this one? <laughs> All right, guys. So uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. So this is. Can we just go? No, oh, because out there and move on. No, oh, we'll set up. no, because because to be fair, to be fair, it, this was a show that. Oh my god. All right, fine. You know what? We're just going to put a mission because they're not going to listen to any argument. There we go. All right, next one. Full Metal Alchemist. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I think we put it fell off. No, because he's just going to take shit noises all the time, and you are too. That's all it is. No one's going to actually. <laughs> this tier list is, about, is not about having conversations. This tier list is about. All right, let's have a conversation making... about you, Gil. Tell me what you think. No, because I know you're going to do. I know exactly what you're going to do. I love I'm five. not going to fucking talk. You want, you want to talk? I'm letting you talk. I love 5Ds. I can see you pursing your lips, ready to make that hard noise. I know you're waiting for me to do it, but I'm not going to do it. <laughs> we'll have a discussion. Yu- I think it's all, all right. So Jen is going. Yu Gi Oh should be and fell off. It should oh, not be a bit. Right Yu Gi Oh should be and fell off because yeah. the first season. I, I'm sorry, but anyone that played Yu Gi Oh and stuff like that, if you ever watched the show, you remember how iconic that show was. Like like watching it. Yu-Gi-Oh. But you never show. watched it. I, I watched it. I could not get into it. I thought it was dog shit. I remember watching it as a kid and playing Yu Gi Oh as a kid, and I was like, "Why does the show have different rules than their actual fucking?" No, no, no. But that's just it, though, right? Is like everyone talks about that because, like, oh, Yu Gi cheats the whole time because he's not playing by the actual rules or whatever. It's the Battle City rules. It's the Domino rules, whatever. But everyone who plays Yu Gi Oh, like, or I guess, okay, I I won't say everyone. I'll say ninety nine percent of the people that that play Yu Gi Oh. That too, like somebody would love the show. They'd be a newer player. Is this? Battle City rules or post Battle City rules, and I'd be like, oh. I would also would get him later. <coughs> it should be fell off. <laughs> it, the later stuff, like I wasn't a fan of Reigns, I wasn't a fan of Arc V stuff like that. But GX was fantastic. I love GX. None of Yu Gi Oh is anything close to what a show should be in any sense. I think Five Ds was none of it. It had a press. And here's plot. the thing: both of you have one. What would you even call that season? Or yeah. arc? What, what, no, no, because, because, because I like the original stuff. I would just say my favorite is GX. You, you like all of it, or, or like the, the, the early stuff. When, the early GX. stuff when they so were GX doing was like, like your last. No, no, because I watched Five Ds. I like Five Ds. It wasn't bad by any means. And then it went downhill from there. And you like one season? Yeah, I like Five. I guess because Five Ds was a really good name. <laughs> and it's like a whole like statement on classes. So how would yours not fall under Bitchman? I mean, you're right. Fall off implies, <laughs> and if fall off, we could say like. One good season doesn't have to be at the end where they True, fuck it up. It, it could be the beginning that sucks. Because fell off, but is it like wasn't the beginning though. It, okay, the show itself, the first season stuff like that. When he hits that Exodia, can you, can you obliterate. Right? I can't see the icon. It's right. Oh, yeah, oh sorry. Yeah, the, uh, when, now I can see it better. When you have <laughs> when, when he hits that Exodia, obliterate on Kaiba. I mean, that is just fucking iconic. No. Kaiba's face? Yeah. Just because it's not to you does not mean it is okay, to everyone else. Here's, here's my argument. Here's my argument. If we go yeah. door to door at 100 people, how many people are going to know at that, that moment? Okay, but then if, 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 card games if we do that, that is, can we call it iconic, though? We, if, if it's it not, is iconic. It's iconic, I call it iconic. It's iconic. In, in card in gaming, it is iconic. How many people are going to know Because otherwise, you can't say the same thing about like One Piece. How many people are going to know Kamehameha over fucking Yu Gi Obliterate? It might actually be like Ethan. No, oh, I would fucking yeah, bet my I, life on that. that but, but they're from the same. All right, era. I say I say it's under fell off. I don't want to spend an hour on this guy. One game. I'll, I'll make Bitchmade. I'll make a deal. I'll make a deal. Bitch made. AOT goes fell off. Okay. Because I because I'm I was thinking of fell off as like it was okay, but fell off is really it was good. And then the later like I mean, but no, no, because no, we've already said it's it's good. Let's just keep it up where it's at. I'm I'm okay with it staying there. That's fine. <coughs> yeah, but like, but, but, but I mean, the thing I'm getting at is like my my idea fell off was not correct, and now that I'm thinking about it, I'm, fell I'm off is that. like seventy percent good, thirty percent bad. It's kind of a ratio. Yu-Gi-Oh is like thirty percent good, seventy percent bad. You you even it's, said so yourself. All of the new stuff sucks. I said the new stuff, but I I love the it's original season. The original season, the GX and the Five Ds was fantastic. That's three. 
out of like five. Out, it's way more than five. What we have out of so, the there's so, Arc V, so Vrains, Vrains, five Ds, not five Ds. Um, GX, no, not what was it? Zexel. Zexel. Zexel was not bad. Zexel fell off at the end of Zexel, but the the first several episodes, like quite a bit of that, I would say probably seventy to eighty percent of that was actually solid. It just got weird at the end of it. It, it was just kind of I don't know. It just felt really like because like when he had Astral with him, that was fantastic. It was yeah, I think okay. we just call it Bitch Babe. I think you're, you're right. We spent a lot of time on it. Yeah, we shouldn't be spending time. It's The bias is already Even here. So, that's, oh, so let's go yeah. next up. We've we all got seen the show. We've all played the card game. How are we biased? <laughs> because you're biased against Yu-Gi-Oh! in general. How? I've seen We've played already. It. I've seen it. We're not, we're not, doing, don't like we're not having this argument. So, I like one piece. Am I biased? We've had this argument already. So is this whole list biased because we've seen them or haven't seen them? No, it's biased because we've already determined you're biased. How? I guess you Explain get, bias. I guess you what is the definition? Oh my god. Let's see if the source will match you. <laughs> Miriam Webster, let's see if we got it. What is the definition of bias? You're arguing, you're arguing against Yu Gi Oh just because of the fact that you hate Yu Gi Oh. That's all you're doing. Okay, you're, and if I don't, I, you, I don't, you refuse to have like to like listen to other arguments. I like Indian food, so I will argue in favor of it because I like it. But but you refuse to listen to arguments it, now. If I had, didn't try it. Indian food and I said I like it or don't like it, I have some weird bias. Oh my god. Okay, we're liking not, I, or I'm disliking not, something isn't biased. All right, so Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. We can never mention the word you. Bias. Cannot talk. Unfair prejudice. Full Metal Alchemist Nothing's Brotherhood. Unfair prejudice about disliking something. <laughs> By that rationale, if you dislike something, all right. Anyone watching, if you dislike something, you're biased. Okay, everyone, you're biased. <laughs> so, full <laughs> battle Alchemist Brotherhood. I mean, it was a good show. Okay, it was good. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, it was solid. I don't think it was ever. Oh, like, no, it's go. Oh, there's a reason. This show is literally a go in every single person's list but, for one reason. Is this because it's so else's? good. I'm not disagreeing with that, with, with where it's going to be placed. But no, it should be our, go. Universal truth isn't measured in mass appeal, so we have to base it this on. This should 1000% be because. The character development was fantastic. The fight scenes, great. The and the protagonist and antagonist, fantastic. The um, the way it actually ended and everything, full circle, fantastic. This was the most well-rounded anime ever. The only anime to me that could potentially beat it would be One Piece, but we don't know how it's going to end yet. Yeah. We don't know how it's going to end yet, and it's probably it's probably too long by yeah. now. Yeah, One Piece is going to be another like nine years. I don't think it's going to be that long. Didn't we just recently get to you like half I still don't think it's going to be that soon. I don't think it's going to be that long. I, th- I think we're looking at a... I think we're sitting at like... I, w- I would Max put, five. I would put a... That's a, no, that's a lot of... I would put a wager at five years. I, I'd go over five. 100%. So... There's no way they're going to five years. But no, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood just... I mean, easily one of the most well-rounded. Like, I, I actually watched Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood and I genuinely binge-watched this. Because I just could not stop. I really enjoyed it. Was it was really good. There's a the little dog scene, too. Oh, yeah. dude. Insane dog. People still cringe whenever you, like, show them this. Like, show them the picture of the dad and stuff. The dad gets a... Uh, uh, oh, you never see the show. Mm-hmm. <coughs> the dad. <laughs> the it's da- crazy. He he essentially turns his daughter into their dog. So he... I've heard of that, he, yeah. He fuses his daughter and his dog because he needs to get, like, a scientific research paper done in order to stay funded by the government. And he did the same thing to his wife a year, like, a handful of years before. Yep. And, like, all before this happens, he's being portrayed as, like, the super nice guy. Uh-huh. And you see um, uh, Alphonse playing with the girl a bunch. Yep. And then they're just, like, next scene, the girl is, like, like crying to him, asking to, like, win, like for mercy and shit. Like, it was... Oh, yeah. Oh it was, God, it's man. so rough. And then, like, and, like, you see the dog and then the dog... It's, it's like her, that. and then it's she's crazy. like, "What? What'd she even say? Like, come play with me or something like yeah. that." Yeah, and it's as the dog talking, like, "Come play with me." What's her voice? Oh, the dog speaking English. Yeah, because like they fuse together, they fuse so the, the dog girl and, and the dog, and so either. it's essentially the dog's talking, but she's got the appearance of the dog. It's so so fucked up, but no, this show is go. I mean, this is go. All right, fine. That's the only thing I've, I've heard from that show, though. Was that some human centipede stuff like that? No, the, 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 that show I one hundred percent recommend. It's not a long one by any means. I think it's only it's like an average. I don't think it's short. I think it's a it's I think it's under hundred episodes. I thought it's over. I, I, I it, it, I'm not one hundred percent positive about that. Episodes? What's up? Twenty minutes? Forty minutes? Yeah, thirty. Thirty. Yeah, like twenty three. Uh, whatever the normal is. Okay. If like you don't include like the ending and opening. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> um. A lot of ending openings leaves like seven minutes of anime. So. Yeah. Up next, Hunter, Hunter. Uh, this was a really good show. 
I have choice opinions about the anime. Now, I read the manga, and I love the manga, and people who read the manga know that it is not even the same show, because in the manga, Kurapiko is the main character, not Mini yeah. Goku. Because yeah. this was literally them being like, oh, wow, Goku's popular. What are the core elements of Goku? Spiky hair. <coughs> an idiot. Lovable idiot. Likes to fight a lot. Mm. Let's just make Gohan the main character. I I do agree. Um, I mean... I mean, Killua has more character development than anyone else there. And he's a side chick. I, so, here's the thing. Killua is uh, fantastic. I love... I, I, Kilo was always great just because it had that badass side of it because, like, my family's all assassin stuff like that. Like, like you feel like Kilo was actually dangerous, right? Yeah. Go to me, was Goku. one of those characters that you're like, okay, this seems like there's a lot of room for development and stuff like that. I hated, and I, with all my heart, I hated Go's attack. Rock, uh, rock paper, scissors. Jung Ken Po or something like that. Yeah, I hated it. It's like, dude, what? <laughs> like, hold on, we're gonna fight now. Jean, They're like, oh my god, well, dude, you're, you're, you're playing rock paper scissors with your opponent. It's Goku clone. Yeah, no, no, I, I agree. And then there's I, also the whole thing in the Chimera arc where he goes Super Saiyan. Yeah, yeah, and then like his hair gets literally, literally like a Goku. He's literally the pinpoint Goku clone. I to me, and uh, I. I think this falls under fell off. I think the I think I, I personally hated the Ant Colony War. I didn't like it. Uh, I watched it, just wasn't a big fan of it. Um, I actually enjoyed the arc where they were in the uh, like game world, whatever. Yeah, um, I actually thought Green that was Island. Great. Yeah, Green Island. I actually thought that was a fun one. I, I enjoyed it, but the the whole like oh ants these ants can eat anything whatever they eat they become so suddenly you got an ant that's also a leopard you got an ant that's an elephant you got like what I thought this was stupid isn't that a real thing though no no ant has ever become an elephant you are what you eat yeah true true I'm Tika <laughs> so I mean that's just me I think it's under fell off chicken uh, I I would definitely be willing to go up to Muy Bueno that right now. Uh, because oh, yeah. it is good good because I mean it is a good anime I mean the <clears throat> The backstory of it, the uh, like I, everything I about the, it was really good. I love the spiders, and I will say, Hunter Hunter has the best power system ever invented. I'll, I'll say that every day. The yeah. best power system with, ever invented with Nen, with Nen, yeah. the whole Nen tree, very well thought out. Oh yeah, very well done. Where it's literally just like your imagination, and the more conviction you have behind it, the more powerful and more potent it can become. That's why like her Pika goes crack because she puts a or sorry. I, he puts a, like a dagger in his heart, and if he ever breaks the rule, he dies. See, but this is another thing, though, and this is also to where I have a big fall off with this show is the uh, oh, God. What was the name of that of the uh, antagonist group, the Society, something like that, Bone Society or something? The Bone um, Society. It's the group that they're fighting uh, that like tries to take Kurapika. Oh, now I'm gonna have to look this up I'm right now. Hard. I'm gonna have to look this up because it's. I hate it. I hate them. Um, I'm going to look this up right now. Let's see. Let's find out here. Let's take Bone Society. I'm trying to see what is the society. What, is it, what do they like consist of? It's like one guy that's got like Almost like a poison sign or something like that on him. Um, poison. The spiders? Is that what they are? Yeah, they have spider signs in their. They, back. they have, they have the person that has like the that has, can like he, suck up everything. Yeah, he, there's there's a chick with the vacuum. There's Franklin. <coughs> he has the gun bullets. There's yeah. uh, Nobumaka or whatever his name was. He's like the samurai. The, I, I I loved it. I love them. I hate how they end. I thought it, I thought it ended pretty good. They, 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 but they seem like such a badass crew and so powerful and stuff and then they end just oh, okay they're done well you have to keep in mind that Kurapika literally turned his entire life into killing them yeah like specifically against the spiders he is almost unstoppable yeah but he's just like but it's just it's crazy to me to make especially when you're the boss <clears throat> of that is supposed to be so insanely powerful and they're just not 
they just don't really do much. They, they, they have the one thing where they kill all those people in that building. <clears throat> but outside of that, there's just, there always seems like they're trying to chase them and trying to get them and stuff. I mean, they're dangerous, but they're not like nigh invincible. I mean, they're just a, they're a thief group. That's all they've ever been. Yeah, but they're, but they're definitely built in the show to be more powerful than that. And they just never, and then, and then don't even get me started on fucking, God, what's that dude, uh, the dude with the, um, tattoo on his face, the star tattoo, the stars on his face, the clown dude. Clown dude. Yeah, he looks like, uh, he's not part of the spiders. Oh, the weirdo. Um, oh, how am I referring his name? The one who gets turned on by children. I, yeah, I, <laughs> I almost want to say like Hisoka, but it's not uh, Hisoka. That, that it is, is it. Hisoka? Okay. It is Hisoka. I he's a ghost weird. Okay, let's just let's admit it. He's a pedophile, right? Yeah, I mean he is in the show. All he's doing is going after Goat every time, and he's, he's just protagonist. Yeah, he's, he's, he, well, he's the antagonist. He's just like like he always watches Goat everywhere, and then when Goat does anything, he just kind of sits in the like forest or whatever sits away, just kind of like uh, okay, rubs his pocket a bit. Yeah, he, like, like he just this well, the, a, this the scene a in the battle, creep. the scene on the Heaven's Tower. <coughs> We're literally going to punch him in the face in the entire time. He's literally having a boner. Hmm? That's the entire scene. That is unironically the scene. It was like he's like bending sideways, having a crazy high, and then his crotch with a giant shining light. That's the whole scene. It, it's crazy though, because because like you think that he's super powerful because I mean the way they make him look is super powerful. Oh, he is. But he never does much. Yeah, he does. Literally unstoppable. Then one person is beating him. So they made the yeah, but name one, name one iconic Stop. fight he had, huh? Name an iconic fight he had. He tried, he tried to fight the leader of the spiders. Yeah, tried, but he didn't. And then he ends up teaming with them for a while. And as a fake member, it's yeah, like, but that was just because his interest was getting to go, and that's what they I wanted. I mean, he's, like he's a trickster, right? Like he he is definitely dangerous. Oh, he's definitely dangerous. I just wish they would have actually showed us he was dangerous. I wish they would have actually like shown more about it and stuff. Well, so like this whole thing with Hunter Hunter or with Hunter Hunter, especially the anime, is it got cut off. Yeah. So there just wasn't. I mean, <laughs> it's, it feels unfair to complain, I, but I get what you mean. I think if we're talking character development, Hunter Hunter's down. Yeah, there's only a few of them that were good, but they just never seem to build off a lot of their, especially for Protag. I would have loved to see more Le- or Leoria. Or Leoria. What? I would have I loved to see more Leoria. Mm-hmm. He was cool. I mean, yeah. like, we got to see his ability once, and it was the punch Goon's father in the face during a, a conflict meeting. Yeah. Dude, that one character that had the uh, ability that was like, uh, that could attach that thing to you. Oh, yeah. He was one of the, um, <coughs> he was, uh, that smoker guy is like yeah. disciple. Or the Nen debt. Yeah. Where it's like, the more Nen he puts into you, the more you have to give back to him. And if you reach zero, you can't use Nen for three days. It's so fantastic. But no, I, I would put this FL off. I would agree. I think. A long conversation. For <laughs> <laughs> well, because this is... Both of you like, greatest thing I've ever seen. This is definitely going to be one of the shows that I already know a lot of these people listening to this right now uh, are going to complain. It's because they're pedophiles. Yeah, hey, if, <laughs> if you don't like our assessment... <laughs> you're a pedophile. Yeah, if you like he's good, well... Maybe have yourself checked out. Go to, you know, call somebody. Um, all right, up next. I mean. What's to say? A bitch made anime. All right. SpongeBob oh, Square Pants. There's a win. SpongeBob right Square the Pants. Uh, go. I, it's go to Muy Bueno for sure. It's go. Best, it's, best fight scene. I'm going to go Muy Bueno. The best fight scene fight. with him and Patrick. Where the, the two of those two protagonists c- clashing together. This is on par with Luffy and Usopp. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's I mean, almost the same. It, 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 honestly, it is. Well, yeah, Patrick, to be fair, yeah, Patrick. And one inspired the other because one came out before the other. Yeah, so, so. Let's, let's not mince words here. Uh, and then, like, the whole, like, I mean, Gear 5, Toon Force. Iron Arms, when he got super jacked. Yeah, SpongeBob did that way before. Way before that. Uh, the Karate. SpongeBob did that first. Mm-hmm. All so right, Fisherman, so here's, Fisherman Karate just here, rip off a of Spongebob. Here's the thing, guys. So if we're talking, like, actual, you know, whether or this not is real, it's real, by the way. This is genuine. Going, this, is, this is yeah a real conversation. If, so I feel like this almost falls into the same, uh, not fully, but the same kind of discussion as Pokemon does, right? Because if we're talking Spongebob, everyone knows Spongebob. There's I mean, it's just it's for kids and stuff, especially. Another point to add, though, so huge is that it's not just a, it, it's it's a, it's a kid show, but it has adult elements to it. Not oh like, yeah, not like perverse elements, but like a, a uh, joke, not jokes. the newer, not the newer one. I know when I say SpongeBob, I, I should have started with this. Just the first three seasons, because that, that's where I think the what about the other thirty-two? Fuck them, because the show and had a massive fall off. There was I think the creator left, 
Mm-hmm. And so the first three seasons of the ones we're talking about, I've seen. I've tried to watch the other ones, it's, but they're, it's, it's so don't. bad. There's a massive fall off, and so, it's dog shit. So if we're going that way, then I think we go to Bowie Bueno. I don't think we could consider it good if it couldn't hold on the whole way. Well, but it's we're, definitely not bad enough to throw call. Pokemon back down. No, Pokemon had the same problem. But Pokemon also has an IP that monsters everyone else. Yeah, dude. Dwarfs everyone else. There's, the, the Spongebob IP is crazy. Is a no, no. Massive they're I, they're I, Spongebob is not close to Pokemon's IP. Dude, anime. it's the amount They of have video s- games, card games. Uh, Spongebob, is this, he doesn't have a card game, but he has video games. Yeah, yeah, all of his video games are trash. Would you say that if somebody else took an anime that you have, Different creators running it, but they start at the same IP again because he acquired the rights. Same thing happened to Pokemon. No, 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 no. Just leave me out. Would you consider that a part of the original show that you liked? If it has a completely different feel, completely different creator, somebody else just bought the rights, would you consider that the same show? Oh, if we're considering different shows, then, then wouldn't we be putting Are, it Would you consider that a diff- uh, this is the same or a different show? Like, uh, what's the show? What's, uh, what's an anime you like that we didn't include? I mean, that's, I, that's done. I would consider it the same show because it's the same consecutive line of story. Even though it's a di- different writer, writing staff, different owner of, of the IP, different different creator that's making it different. Yeah, because if, if they like differentiated it, then it'd be a different show. But they didn't. It's literally just one long run. That's why it continues as that's seasons. My, that's my point, though. Would you consider us it if it's a completely separate separate feel, separate owners? You'd still consider it the same show. Yeah, it would just be a bad show. Uh, uh, a legitimate continuation of the, the er, earlier seasons. That's what. That's where we had different different opinions. I, I think it, the creator having left and other people start taking taking it over is what led to that drop off. And I mean, the same thing happened to Pokemon, though. That's like that's the part I'm confused about. Is SpongeBob is a massive IP? Yeah, but it's you, not Pokemon. I, I'm fine cutting off Pokemon. Like the, I didn't put in Goat for any kind of reasons of episodes being added or, or taken away. It's just the monster IP. Yeah, it's just everything they've done to advertise and sell the name it, it, Pokemon. Like, like Battle for Bikini Bottom was a great game. Battle for Bikini Bottom was definitely solid. That was but, a but crushing I mean, game. But we cannot. But you cannot compare that to <coughs> a Pokemon Red, Blue, Yellow. Oh, of course not. Like, but the but the point we're getting at is SpongeBob is such a massive IP that it is well known in almost every regard. Everyone has heard of SpongeBob. Oh yeah, and I it argue has that games. It has the books. first three seasons didn't exist. That show would have been a flop. Yeah. But that's the but that's the big thing though, right? Is like if we're talking about, I I, I definitely do see your, your side of the whole Pokemon at the beginning and it falls off later on stuff like that. But the problem is though, right? Is Pokemon falls off to us, but it's still big to like tons of kids out there Same watching with SpongeBob. it. SpongeBob, because the kids. But SpongeBob, show. but SpongeBob was definitely more geared towards not just kids. It, Pokemon Dude, was definitely more of it. kids. Dude, we were just talking about how Pokemon is like mind rot for adults because it's not meant for adults. It's meant for kids. Like new Pokemon. That's yeah, but all SpongeBob it is. was but SpongeBob was meant originally. It was it was kids, but it was also more older. It was yeah, like I mean that, that's how original SpongeBob was as well. And then the later seasons came out that were for you know obviously just they're just filler. They're just trying to. You know, they're taking, taking the name and running with it. I, I they, still they, say I think they're both equivalent. Like they both have the same pros, which is a I would call show. it Muy Bueno if we have to factor in all the other seasons. I'll call. It, I'll. I'll are you uh, talking uh, about Pokemon? First three seasons, SpongeBob. Oh, first, SpongeBob! I'm definitely calling Muy Bueno. First three seasons are good. I think if if Pokemon is in Goat, then SpongeBob is in Goat. If SpongeBob's in Muy Bueno, then Pokemon's in Muy Bueno because they both have the same problems and the same goal, like the same like but pros. I, I think what you're trying to do there is say like they, you're bringing up the massive IP and comparing it to Pokemon. Pokemon's moat is way larger than SpongeBob's. It's way larger, but the I only- mean to the point where it's like, I mean, apples and oranges isn't even a fair comparison because they're both fruit. You know, what I mean, this is like a titan against an ant. Yeah, but the thing is, like, they're still titans, though. Like, this may be a bigger titan, but they're still titans. Titan, titan is only comparable to what you're comparing it to. Would you say you're a titan compared to Shaquille O'Neal? Well, now, would yeah. you say you're a titan compared to a, a Bumblebee? Yeah, but you wouldn't compare to the high. You wouldn't compare to a high end regard. You compare to the average. But the average there, though is is that the Pokemon average is. Sh- the av- that's not what. No, the average for shows is neither SpongeBob nor Pokemon. Both of those are titans compared to just the average run of the mill show you get. Would you consider Konami a Titan? Yeah. I, what, what are they, I believe, I'd have to look at it to be sure, but I think they have just over $10 billion net worth. Okay. If we're would, talking, you compare it to, would you also say Titan when we're also in the same conversation, the same breath as Microsoft or NVIDIA? No, because it's an entirely different genre. Because Titans are strictly by, by comparison. Yeah, these are so shows. So when SpongeBob is <laughs> up against Pokemon, it is not a Titan. It is not in the same tier and thus should not be in the I same mean, tier. I mean, like Pokemon, like Revolutionized its own IP. SpongeBob revolutionized Nickelodeon. 
which still runs today. SpongeBob but, is the only reason Nickelodeon but runs it. But po- okay, uh, yeah, but this is what brought it out, right? But to be fair, though, so uh, yes, I, I agree with you. Pokemon revolutionized its IP, but Pokemon also revolutionized just children's TV. It recognized it, it revolutionized oh it in God. general. I think a lot of shows everyone came about watched after Pokemon. Because like people were not getting into anime and like this whole type of thing. Like people, you had you, you had Goku and stuff like that. Obviously, people watched Dragon Ball and all that. People watched the Inuyasha stuff like that. But you weren't getting those younger kids that were watching it. SpongeBob hit the screen before Pokemon did. <coughs> no, no, no. no Pokemon, Pokemon came out. Yeah, Pokemon came out in the nineties. Is it actually? Yeah, yeah. Pokemon was first. That's we, great. We, we got it in what ninety but 95? Was it ninety five? Was uh, Japan? Oh, okay, okay. So yeah. So I think we got a ninety nine SpongeBob. So, it was a few years early. Okay. But like, but like, this is the thing, though, right? Is like, it, it revolutionized the fact that children were starting to watch anime. It brought it brought anime more into this kids sector where previously it wasn't, just because it was always we made more towards that. Look at like a gateway drug. Like, oh, I, I like this thing. Let me go try other things that are in the similar. Category. Yeah. Now, what's Dragon Ball looking like? Mm-hmm. You know. But I still feel that it's just too large of a beast to put in Moy Point. No. Like the amount of money. Nickelodeon has made off SpongeBob. I mean, it literally has entire theme parks. Does it have a theme park? Yeah, yeah. Well, it, it, in the Mall of America. Well, not really, because it's it's not dedicated just to SpongeBob. It's dedicated. I was to it's, say, it's, it's got an element to it, like, it's like a ride and yeah, things. Yeah. And it's not but really like the a theme whole, park. but it, most of it is SpongeBob. If you go to Nickelodeon Land, you'll notice that the entire back half of the park, and then also kind of a little up section, making kind of like an L. Towards the left side. I don't even want to just... argue. I feel like I'm arguing against it being a go because if we're kind of the first three seasons of the show specifically, I'm saying the, show, the entire show I'll take, itself. I'll take go. I'm saying the entire show itself because that's what we're basing all of our opinions on. Or the entire show, otherwise, fell off shouldn't even be a section. It, so we're saying the entire show. I'm saying it's movie plano. It's not. It's it's good. But, it's not fantastic. But that's what I'm getting at is if we're going off that metric, then Pokemon follows the same rule. But Pokemon, I, I only don't include it in fell off because it's a different creator. Like to me, if somebody else just buys something, yeah. no, if I, somebody I, else buys Dragon Ball <laughs> and turns it into like My Little Pony, I, I'm not going to look back on Dragon Ball Z unfavorable. No, I meant that Pokemon but goes to Moy Bueno, not fell but off. But here's the thing, though. No, Pokemon, I'm saying I am with oh. it. But here's the thing, though, right, with Pokemon. So if we're saying that, we, we can't say Pokemon goes down to good just because of that. Because, yes, at the end of the day, we did not like the later seasons. But the later seasons still were selling like crazy. People were watching them like crazy. There was a huge, like, like I had a lot of kids that used to come in uh, at the game store I worked at and stuff like that. And we'd have, like, seasons of the older ones like that. And they would be begging their parents to buy it. Like, they still wanted to watch it. Like, Pokemon TV show is still going and stuff because people just love watching it. They love watching Pokemon. The nostalgia is still huge. Pikachu is still the fucking god of anime. And... It, that will never be touched. Yeah, but Spongebob... Spongebob's high tier anime. It's high. High tier anime. It's high. That's why I'm saying I think it's Muy Bueno. I don't think where do you put it's it? Go. I, I think that it's wherever Pokemon is. I like I see, po- I see Pokemon and Spongebob in the exact same pot. I, I would have to go Muy Bueno. If we're factoring in all the seasons... Uh, I, I personally don't, just, just because it's a different creator. Different people just, just picked up where the, the good show left off and ruined it. But yeah, I'll call it Muy Bueno. All right, so, well, yeah, because I, I don't think we can go off based off, like, if a different creator is that, because if we do that... Then you have to follow that. Then we have to deal with everything. everything. How often has it happened with these shows where a creator left and they just decided to keep running it? I Not very many. The only I, two I would say I, I can't imagine any of... The only two on anything. this list are Pokemon. Well, I don't think Pokemon has a... Does Pokemon have a different creator? Yeah, I don't think so. I, I oh, can't yeah. imagine they've changed. No, I think... They, they never even really had a creator to begin with. Well, the Pokemon, well, Pokemon, Pokemon company. Well, yeah, but they don't, like... Spongebob had a, a literal writer-creator. Pokemon is fabricated. I mean, Pokemon was made by a company to sell to kids. It never really had a creator. The creator of Pokemon made a video game. Well, it, 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 I don't know if it had one specific creator, then it had a, a group of creators that likely hung around. Yeah. And but, sat on. Like, the old creator, I don't know if he left, like, parameters for the show to continue. Like, it has to be... Of a certain standard, well, def- definitely def- not. Yeah, because I mean, it I was, would say not. Yeah, it, like all the newer shit sucks. To be fair, it's, I mean, it's just boring. It's like, almost like they don't try. All right, so up next, Naruto. I mean, it's goat. Uh, I never watched I, it. I don't know if it's, if there's anything else to argue there. I mean, no, I mean, Naruto. It's it's one of the big three. Uh, there's a reason it's one of the big three. It, it's yeah. it's just great. It's so good. We don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I mean, I mean, there's really not much to talk about. Yeah, it's like shipping it was fantastic. The original no, I, I, I was great. Well, it's, the, it's the original so good, was okay. It had a lot. Of the original, I, it's so good. Dude, I, the original has one of the greatest scenes 
an anime. And you probably are thinking that you know exactly what scene I'm talking about. Stepmom scene? Yeah, when he's stuck in the dryer. <laughs> when Gata. Gata? Gata? Gara. I'm sorry, that's how some of us say it. I guess I, I don't know. I don't know what you're saying Gata? He's saying Gara. It, it's Gara, but you know, that's culture. It's saying oh, is it Gata. like Gata? <laughs> when him and Rockley. Yeah. And Rockley takes off the weight. Oh, yeah, like a da da da. And then he's like, he, he's like, oh, Rockley just take him off. He's like, oh, okay. And he thinks like, oh, I've been fighting. I'm just beating the shit out of Rock Lee. It's no problem. And then, and then he drops them. Chickens, drops them. He in the drops them and the entire friggin' floor shakes because of how heavy the weights were. Oh, like Dragon well, Ball. Well, yeah, but... And the, okay, turn but on. if we're now going by the rule that <coughs> shows are decided by the whole show as a whole, not just hype scenes... No, no, I understand that. I'm, like, I'm just saying, like, that's why I think the original was really good as well. Oh, I, it was because, so like, good. It just had a lot scene. of really bad films. Oh, no, 100%. 100%. I don't uh, know. I'd call it fell off, but... <laughs> Uh, up next, so this is one I've never seen. Parasite. Loved it. I loved it. Loved it. This was it so was, cool. it was alien in an anime. It was like it's kind of like following the same kinds of like Bebop and Death Note, where it's not super combat oriented, but it still had it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like it was there, but it wasn't the center focus. And it had just elements of just like a mystery thriller. Yeah, it just kept me engaged. I always wanted to know what was going to happen next. Oh, yeah. At no point did, was there an episode ending where it kind of fell off. It just always kept you. Right at the edge of your seat, want to see what was going on. I mean, just I, I loved it. I it was, loved it. I mean, I, great story. Uh, the dichotomy between uh, the aliens. Uh, everyone kind of like you, you think they're like this hive mind, but the fact that there was some kind of like different way they melded together that made them just a little bit different. So they all don't have the same is mindset going into it, the same plan. They, they're their own things. They aren't as simple celled as, as you might lead them to believe, just you know, coming in and taking over. And yeah, they're not like mindless animals. They yeah. have emotion stuff. I mean, like, and on the same note of like um, uh, uh, Neverland, or Promise Neverland, where it's like, it was just fresh. I mean, it was it was a new idea. It was so good. I mean, I, I wanted them to do like a million spinoffs, just a, a, a ton of different ideas you can spread out from there. Like, what, what's up with the ones that are, are stronger? Like, what, what makes it to where they're, like, some are super strong and have a lot of capabilities? You know, what does that? There are a lot of ways they could have went about it, and I think there could be a million spinoffs of that show. Love the live action. Did they ever really too. explain what made them different other than the, the fact that they were? Oh, God, it, it's been a minute since I've seen the show, but I think oh. I think it has something to do with the connection, either how they came in, because there was yeah. something to do with like him getting knocked out, and then... Well, it's like they're they're more closely connected to like the core. Closely connected, but to like there's no real well explanation to. to why that equals yeah strong. Strength. It's just like the reason is this, but there's no real logic. Mm -hmm. But I Which guess I'm not even fine. I'm, I'm I'm fine with there not being like us like a logic we can apply to the real world for it. Obviously, it's like finger hand. Right? <laughs> like you can only get so much logic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what would yeah. you guys put that? Muy bueno. I'd agree. All right, up next, Ragnarok. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Can we get that one more time? I couldn't hear. Oh, no, wait, wait. I, I love Ragnarok. <laughs> I love it. I, I, I love, love Ragnarok. Ragnarok. I hate it. I Dude, love this show. The fight scene with Jack the Ripper, oh, and then God, the last dude. season we have uh, so Buddha. fantastic. Right, dude, Buddha. It's so like. I, Adam against Zeus. I mean, oh, come on. Oh, my God. The, the concept behind the show is already great. I love taking almost like their IPs, Buddha, yep. uh, Zeus, it, whatever. Dude, it, was, it was a cool idea. I would like the idea if the Valkyrie chick wasn't in it. Because literally, something will happen and it'll be like, it's unprecedented they do this. But wait! Jack the Ripper has this thing planned! And they do that like nine... Like, I guarantee you, if you go watch the show and just count how many times the Valkyrie chick in the front is just like... She'll agree with what's happening, and then two seconds later, she'll act like she knew all along about like this like plot twist that's happening now, where he's like, it's actually secretly stronger. They do it like nine times in a single fight. It's awful. I hate it. But it's, it's a trope. It's, but the, it's, poorest it's, a writing. Popular trope, it's the poorest it's a, writing on the planet ever. The show is fantastic. I don't know if it needs great writing. I, I think it's just I the it. idea of it is fun in and of itself. I don't need the plot to be really intricate and well designed and intelligent. I want to see all of these. Characters, these from, I mean, from if, many religions and from from folklore. I want to see them fight each other. If and you're, that's really if you're all into barbaric, to. mindless fighting, I think there's a place for everything. I think, it's I think there's a place to, to watch mindless reruns of Seinfeld and Friends. I think there's sometimes I want to watch a gripping story. I oh, absolutely! I mean, there's like a place where like you have this like giant pile of shit in your ass, and you need to go 
pull a seat up and let it out. You know, it's called a bathroom. Yeah, you, you, can, take, watch, you can watch in there. Taking shits, natural part of life. You know, and we all just so <laughs> so. What are we? So we bueno? We bueno. Bitch made. It's a movie widow. Oh my god. <laughs> you, you, Hakusho. I think it's how popular it is that really makes you angry. I hate it. I, 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 I watched really it. hate that it's popular. I watched it. It was this thing that was like, I don't even hate fights because I liked um, uh, Baki. Baki's the exact same thing where it's just like mindless fights. I've never had Baki before. So you're compl- you said it's the same thing where it has mindless fights. So what's the difference? The the difference is this just like dumb. Like I just like the, a whole idea is just dumb. At least Baki's like there's like a character. I, in I a just world don't. I just don't believe it. you could say a fight is dumb, but that you have seen that Jack the Ripper versus Hercules fight. I, have I just don't seen believe it. it. And, and Baki, what makes it un- that fight was amazing. What makes it intelligent? I didn't say it was intelligent. I said that there's like an well, entire world. I said what makes this different? He said, well, this is dumb. It's like, literally, they just like pick up a bunch of characters it's and just stupid. throw them in a pit, and that's the show. That's literally yeah. the entire show. That's Gladiator. That was an excellent film. Exactly. Yeah, well, pro. but I'm saying I don't like that. I think that's dumb. But okay, you said but Baki how, was the same thing, but it not. Baki was it's dumb. the same kind of fighting where it's like secretly he was actually super stronger than you originally thought he was. Blah blah blah. blah. But there's like an actual world built around it. Like there's characters with like side characters. You know, there's like actual. But there's lots of characters and stuff here. I mean, because yeah, you're dealing with a lot of different people. And there, there are side. There are there are little side things that go on that aren't just related to the fighting. No, there isn't. Yes, just there is. Really the whole Buddha thing that happened. Okay, the one, the literal one thing. And do you think there's not going to be and more coming out in other the seasons season where the Valkyrie? I actually think they're some of the more interesting things that are happening because they're doing a lot of like shady shit. Are they going to ultimately it's, side with their people, like the gods, or are they going to side with humanity? Well, then you have the whole, uh, the whole like group of people that are coming in to try and like change things. Like they were like trying to hold people prisoner and stuff like that. Uh, I don't know what they were, what their names were. Yeah, it was like the, I know what you're about them. Yeah, yeah, the lucky guys. I don't know what they were. It was, they were like they're, they came in and like they all had like their own like special but like they were all like gods. It's like seven or eight of them, or whatever. And they're yeah, all gods. They're all the, doing stuff. The god of luck. They all turn into one god. Mm-hmm. That was the person who Buddha fought. Yeah. Oh, sorry, that was because the, that person was so he was so inept in despair that he split himself into seven. All seven. It was like the guy with. I'm like trying to remember. It was like the guy with the gun. They're all like mobsters. Who was who's the guy that maybe what? Oh no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was thinking the most recent fight. It wasn't the Buddha one. It was the uh, I think he was like a sumo dude or whatever because he fought that guy that was like hell. Mm. I love that one. Yeah, that yeah, fight was great too. They're all. Great. Oh, are you talking about the um, guy, the Indian god? <coughs> Well, there was there was, a, there was so there was a sumo guy who was like so strong that like muscles were like killing him, and so he had to like get a suit, yeah, like, a belt from yeah. the Valkyries who he fell in love with, yeah, yeah. Like that's the thing, though. Like there are all these little storylines that go on with it. I love, They're yeah. Like, but like in Baki, you learn that like Baki's trying to fight his dad because his dad killed his mother and he's been getting revenge. So he's been training his entire life. You know, there's like an actual story. There isn't really a story. Here. A story is they're trying the to kill it's, humanity. It's a, they're trying to end humanity. It's yeah, a really, humanities. really small niche, tiny little. This the whole thing is based story, on it. Tiny little wiener story. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so up next. Tiny wiener story. <laughs> we have a category. Right? <laughs> tiny little wiener story. Up next, guys. Yu Yu Hakusho. Um, Yu Hakusho. I mean, I go. Yeah, yeah. One like, of the best of all time. I don't time. know if there's really argument. The, the, the only argument I have on this show. Oh, the ending. The, the, the ending, ending was rushed. The ending, was, the ending was so rushed, and I hated it so much because this show has one of the top three top three arcs of all time. But how? But how? Dude, bad you know what? Actually, yeah. By that metric, he's. Do we say it fell off? It, it, no, how no. Bad? Because do we because, say it's in the middle of that? Because it did fall off. I'll go into. I'll. I'll you know what? I'll put it in a movie boy now. Because was, of the fact that the ending was so rushed and I hated it so much, and the creator, I think, ad- admitted like there, there yeah. was like some health. Well, issues. it's because they were getting canceled or something, so, and so they had health issues. issues. But I, that's all rumor. I, I it can be anything. both. Yeah, maybe that's why they're getting canceled. Like, he's well, gonna die. Well, no, a younger, healthier man. He's God gonna die. No point putting money here. But uh, but that show was fantastic, though. Yeah, easy. Great show. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So. Uh, up next. None of us ever seen it, but we've seven it. daily yeah. frames. <laughs> Uh, so Seven Deadly Sins Brain. is a show that, f- uh, garbage. I'll, I'll say fell off. Bitch made. Um, I love the idea of the show. The idea of the show is fantastic. The idea of the Started out very strong. Seven Deadly Sins, like the uh, the premise behind like like having like different like those are like different people stuff like that. I think that's fantastic. The, the seven the seven, de- seven Deadly Frames. The whole premise of it is this really 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 fucking old dude that looks young likes to sexually harass a seventeen year old. Who he then makes wear a mini. But maybe it's, maybe that's old enough in their country. I don't know. I'm not here to yeah, judge. It's also a different culture. Different. Yeah. Are, are you judging? 
Yeah, I am judging. Actually. I'm not here to judge. Listen, I you, think that's weird. Who you want, love who you want. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so but uh, in the future, if my you nigger, want, what if, you? <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? If we're going off that logic, that's a fucking pedophile right there. Oh Get it off my screen. These are animes. He has a body of a fucking eleven year old. And if, if we're going off that argument, then there's a lot of stuff we need to talk about, like people that look at, especially like Yu-Gi-Oh players and stuff. Yeah. Oh, look at my look, art of my cards. Look the at my Schwartz care. Why Schwartz? That people, should be another video. Like, Yu-Gi-Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh players are a, dirt, a different breed. Sometimes old Yu-Gi-Oh art versus current. When did it just become anime girls? I remember, dude, LOD, Yada When guys, when, when these Spirits players. in general were amazing. Well, I remember, with, I remember it was like super filtered too. Like there was the Call of Grave. Remember what Call was the it? Grave, Call yeah. the Grave where it was like a cross and they changed into a tombstone. Foolish Burial? Oh yeah, was it Foolish Burial? Foolish Burial. Yeah. No, there's lots of to talk about there. But uh, no, so Seven Deadly Sins. Yeah, um, I put it fell off. I, I genuinely said bitch it. I don't think it was good. I think it's really bueno. I think despite the fall off, it's still it's still really solid. The first X number of seasons are still... It was so ugly, though. Like, the animation was so bad. I'm more story-driven than I am how something looks. So I, but it's still I, I like relevant. older movies, like like The Thing in the 80s. Was it 1982, Kurt Russell? Mm. I mean, terrible graphics by today's standards. The story was great. I mean, it was, it was chilling. Yeah, but the concept was frightening. <coughs> today's standards. That's a 2015 show. That's not that long ago. Nine Anime- years? Animation was good in 2015. Maybe they didn't have the budget for it. Maybe they just chose. It was on artist, Netflix. Artist, maybe they chose the artistic style for it. What did it start on Netflix? No, it didn't. The adaptation did, or that one? Did it? I'm like 99 percent sure it did. I mean, maybe, but Netflix, right, well, Netflix so, doesn't give out just like, hey, so we're Netflix. Our here's, here's our net worth. You so have it all. It's gonna go into fell off Certain because screen. you're on bitch. I'm on fell off. You're on very good. So middle ground would be very good. Because it Fair did no fall, off. fall like, off. I like the beginning was nice when they're like finding them, but then they got the fight. I think the pride Who fight was cool. Who Me. He said bitch made, I said fell off. So it's fell I off. hate seven deadly frames. I guess I'm not going to go into there because two people. The last one we're talking about, and guys, just so you do know, uh, if there are animes, obviously, we haven't talked about. I mean, there's literally hundreds of animes out there. Um, we are looking at doing more videos and stuff. So we are we are going to do everything because otherwise we'll be here for like a, seven hours trying to talk about everything, especially with the way we argue. So <laughs> there's no way we could do a, every <laughs> anime out there. But uh, we're going to end it up with what I think I, I mean, Great it's, it's the it's ever. the goat. It, it, this is the, the true to like goat. Magic the Gathering called that the Godfather. This is the fucking Godfather. This is the yeah. dude. You, you when he walks in the room, you kiss his fucking pinky ring. None of your shows exist without it. It set everything in place. I mean, I yeah. think this is. The, I I feel this is the one that definitely popularized anime in America. Mm-hmm. Yeah, everyone it's, watches the kid. To me, that's what makes something great. Is if someone doesn't like the whole, you got to take it from the other. And they go, uh, if something so, sometimes people won't like a genre or something, but they will like certain things. Oh, I hate country, but I like this guy. To me, when you when you get into that territory, you were at the peak. So, and there are tons of people in this world that hate anime, will not watch it, but they like but Dragon they like Ball. Dragon Ball. Yep. Well, and when we're talking about Dragon Ball, it's reaching the world and stuff. I mean, there's other, there's a few other games out here, or uh, sorry, not games, but uh, animes uh, that you look at that have actually gotten into like Fortnite, Fortnite skins. Oh yeah, I mean, we're looking at you know Dragon Ball's done it, Pokemon's uh, done it, Pokemon's done it. done it. Do you remember the Tournament Aspen's of Power where they would have it on big screens uh, in larger cities? It's not in I mean, Fortnite, crazy. but it's in a lot of different fighting games. Crazy oh. amount of reach. Like a popular one, which is like the Fortnite of fighting, it's called Brawlhalla. Yeah, it has a bunch of crossovers. It has things like SpongeBob, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, things like that. But like we're looking at some of these things, though. I mean, Dragon Ball, yeah, it's just a lot of these shows, and, and a lot of people even agree that a lot of these shows don't exist. If people want to argue, oh, Phil or Phil or Phil or blah blah, we also got to remember this was completely made at a completely different time, completely different era. That, and I hate that argument. Yeah. Uh, the argument of filler, I love the slow <coughs> build, I love the, the tension added to it. Uh, Kai, I still like Kai. I'll, I'd watch it, but the original's just the best for me. I, I, don't, I like the slow build. It's not literally I, as much as we like to joke about it, it's funny. To say like, oh, episode three hundred thirty-three. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Next time on Dragon Ball Z, <laughs> you know, it's funny, but like man, a lot of the extra stuff that people consider filler, not filler episodes where like in between sagas and stuff like that, but I'm yeah. talking like the the parts where you're like you have the reactions from people, yeah. something crazy happening, somebody sensing energy down the road, like d- down some further way. That's what makes the show. Sometimes it's the it does up. get a little too long, though. Like I remember the scene in One Piece. It just depends on what you like. I mean, there's just a slow burn that, that people like. I, I'm a fan of it. Some people like just hurry up, get to it. Some I hate it, dude. That's why I hated Wano so much. Like the beginning of Wano when he was fighting that lion guy. And I kid you not, for like at least 15 minutes, One Piece was stretching or uh, Luffy was stretching his arm back to punch him. And it was just like flipping between their faces, reacting to the same thing. But here's the thing, though, right? Is Dragon Ball has also changed in terms of the way the world's looked at now, right? Yeah. It's like a lot of people nowadays, it's that instant gratification. You want that instant thing, instant thing. 
it, back then it wasn't it. You were okay with those buildups. You were okay with that filler because, I mean, you remember coming home, you know, from school, watching it. Or Saturday morning, oh, I'm going to watch this. Like, that was just how it was. Yeah. You weren't like, it wasn't that, oh, everything's dropped down on country, country roll, now I'm going to binge watch the entire mm-hmm. thing. Exactly. And when people were watching You're the appreciative. 90s, you had commercials. Yeah. Like, there was no, like, oh, I, I hurry up, get through this. Like, because you can binge watch on Netflix. There was, oh, my fucking God, did, please tell me there's another five minutes left. Yeah. Because it sucked when it ended because you had to wait another week. So, but, um, yeah, so I think that's pretty much how it is right now, guys. Uh, this is the tier list we're looking at. So, um, let us know your guys' opinions. I assume we're going to get a lot one, of dislikes. One, 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 so, one I question here is, do we want to organize it at all? Like, do we want Yuya at the bottom of Moy Uh, no. 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 Exactly. That's what I'm saying. There's uh, a lot SpongeBob's here. right behind that, though. Yeah, easily. Just... I think you can put Code Geass above Death Note. Really? Yeah. Oh. Uh, really? Code Geass. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. I, well, listen. It's not that, it's irrelevant. Not a, Sorry for wasting everybody's it's, time. It's Go not ahead and dislike that, this video. I, it's not that it's bad. I just think Code Geass is just more like. What about Code Geass is better than Death Note? What about it is worse? Uh, everything. Like what? Character development. Maybe. Pacing. Pacing? Come on, man. I almost think. Talk, I almost think prom- I almost think Promise Neverland should go to Pitchman, but I'm I'm almost there too. But it was the se- season one was just so good though. Yeah, but it just it season was, one was nice. But to me though, so this is the only reason I'm saying it is because of the fact that, that when you have a but but is it okay to say a fell off when it's halfway through your show and not just like ending wise? Because like Attack on Titan was great for if it was halfway through five. season one, sure. But it was like season one was but, but season one was great. Season two was terrible. So to me, that's the half mark. To me, I think that's special. It's also if we're I gonna mean, go by it being early, we have no idea where it's gonna go from here. So, oh, I think they're gonna cancel. Yeah, they're canceled. Yeah, it's, it's I, think not, season, I think season two is so bad they're not making a season three. No, that's oh. what I'm saying. So that's why, like, I think it goes bitchman. If it got canceled, uh, I'll agree to call it bitchman. Because if that's how they're gonna end it, then yeah, fifty percent of it sucks. A lot of people did not receive season two very well. <laughs> no, I mean it wasn't good. So what do you think? What's thought? It was the, the, the put it on a hiatus because when shows gonna put hiatuses, they don't come back until the next like five. Six I mean, Black Clover has been like five years on three or four years. Definite. Scroll up. What was that top thing? Uh, I promise what was the second season aired from this? I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, man. When there's a delay in a show on its development, that's them trying to say we don't want to make it without pissing fans off. Season one. Notice how that delay happens in like. It was del- no season two was delayed. That season two oh, was delayed. Is that saying season two? Season two was delayed because of COVID. So what about season three though? I, I don't see anything concrete. So I still say it's bitch bitch. The I way mean, if, if we're going based off currently, currently it's. I don't care enough about it to say. I, I would. I like season one. It's it's above Yu Gi Oh. A hundred. Actually, do we want something touching Yu Gi Oh? Do we create a new tier like no. bitches made? No. Tiny dick tier. No. Because Tiny it, dick tier. Because it shouldn't even be there. So. Uh, You're right. We should have spoken about small it. Small wiener tier. Like, I, I don't know. Right We're mentioning anime in the same breath of like King of the Hill and SpongeBob, and then Yu Gi Oh comes in. It just kind of discredits us. All right. The thing that yeah, really, the thing that really we around is the top one. What? What, what do we have? We have Dragon, Dragon Ball, Ball, One Piece, uh, King of the Hill, Pokemon, <laughs> Full Metal, Naruto. Yeah, I mean we can move some stuff around. No, 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 no. Pokemon yeah, yeah, should yeah, not no. be. Pokemon should not be. It, it would be the bottom. Is how does FMA compare to King of the Hill? <laughs> the, well, this is the eternal real. question. Let's be real. <laughs> this is the eternal question. Let's be real. King of the Hill beats that by far. Let's be real. King but of the does Hill. it? I mean, can we pull up some numbers on viewership? All right, guys. So uh, I think this is a tier list. <laughs> We're not going to sit here and argue this. Uh, hey, guys, this is a tier list. This though. video is about sitting here and arguing this. Let it's us know. Not, uh, it's already been an hour <laughs> and a half. Let's not. Uh, I mean, I'm not saying we need to go on for an hour, but it feels like a weird way to end that. All right, let's not argue. We're not going to argue in because video okay, arguing. okay, let's argue this. Hey guys, you don't have to argue. I'm saying it's weird. King, King, King of the Hill, the video. King of the Hill, the Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Let's do comparisons because <laughs> <laughs> that's the game. That's the anime. All I'm saying is it's an odd thing to say. Like, hey, we not, we're going to argue this tier list. It's not odd at all. But also, let's not sit here and argue this. It's FMA not odd at all. had better action. FMA may be more dramatic scenes and I'm a better sorry. finale. Over King of the Hill? Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Dude, I watched someone's you child get fused huh? with a dog. I've never seen okay, one. I'll watch it tonight. and then I watched someone's child get fused with a dog. I am traumatized. The whole internet is traumatized. That will forever be gone. All right, all right, all right. First episode. So let's go new viewership. First episode. Who's got the better first episode? King of the Hill. All right, guys. Oh, so amazing. Uh, get the fuck out. I'll watch the first episode. Yeah, get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. <laughs> it's not anything like that. 
No, no, no. And no, 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 the no. correction was made. In, in hey, guys. All right, guys. So I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, definitely let us know it's what you guys think on down that. below. Guys, thank you for watching. All right, guys. Make sure to like, subscribe. Make, make sure to everything else out. You want. Uh, all right. Sorry for these two. Oh, you can't my tell. God. It's rough. You can't tell. He's bouncing. He is doing flips on a giant fucking dildo right now. Labeled King of the Hill. I'm uh, sorry about that, too. Just make sure to like and subscribe. As long as you ignore everything you heard from these two. Overall, <laughs> I think this was a good video. Yeah, this is yeah. a great video. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, obviously, yeah. obviously, yeah. obviously guys, guys, we got different opinions, yeah. stuff like that. Make sure to uh, like and subscribe. You know, go ahead oh, and my God. Can I do an outro? <laughs> I'm doing the outro. I already ended it. It's done. <laughs>